Modeling from references is one of the best ways to improve your 3D skills, but most people do it wrong. Today I'm going to be modeling this jetpack from Starfield and will give you a ton of tips on how you can grow your design skills through modeling from references. Let's go. We're going to be modeling this jetpack from Starfield. Now, when you're working from references, there is a specific way of doing this. Don't copy what you're seeing word for word because that's not really going to help you grow as an artist. What you want to do is you want to use certain visual cues and design language to help you, you know, to guide you through your own process of designing and modeling. Okay, so I know it's challenging. I know it's not easy, but that's the way to grow. So what you want to do is you want to surround yourself with a lot of references and then try to make something on your own from it. You know, it's not going to be working well at the beginning, but eventually you're going to get the hang of it. Okay, practice makes perfect. All right, so I'm going to be using add-ons but don't worry about it stick around and have a watch because you know uh, you can learn some uh, cool tricks here anyway from vanilla blender but if you are just a beginner and you're starting and you don't know anything about hard surface but you want to learn then we have a free course for you called jumpstart hard surface in blender like i said it's free and you can get it on our website and the link is in the video description okay so grab that course it's fantastic it helped over 60,000 people already to get started with blender so you know you could be the next all right and uh like i said i'm gonna be using add-ons um so you know just to make this quicker because vanilla blender is way too slow so we're going to rotate it in here and i'm going to scale them on x so sx grab this one here actually you know what let's do this uh, the other way around so this way i kind of like this uh, kind of a uh, narrowing uh, in the middle of this backpack let's go here to side view orthographic e and extrude it here a little bit like that we're gonna make it wider right then i'm going to use this face and i'm gonna set a custom orientation here so the axes are going to follow the face so when i'm gonna now subdivide this edge here grab this vert and shift ctrl b that Grab the edge in the middle and go GX. I can move it down along this face. Yeah, without bending it. So that's a really cool tool. And that's from Vanilla Blender. I really like this tool. Now this one is a little bit too tall. So select the edge GG, slide it down a bit. That's cool. All right. So now let's grab this one and uh, extrude it here. Now I'm going to use a line tool from Machine Tools to uh, Alt A to um straighten this edge here like i said add-ons are very useful and uh, you should be using them day one because they'll basically shorten the amount of time you you're gonna be wasting in blender on just you know stupid vanilla tools which are way too slow people will tell you that you need to master vanilla blender which is absolute bullshit you need to know the tools but uh just you know once you know the tools bugger off and use add-ons because Tempest Fugitive. So here we're gonna combine these two. The same thing with quads, you know, people always tell us, oh, this is shit topology. You need quads. I mean, yeah, I don't know, they're stuck in 90s or something. Oh, okay, so here, um, I wanna actually divide it. So subdivide this. So I'm gonna get another, another vert here. I'm going to bring it down like this. So the I'm gonna create a little bit of a, um, you know, all the, all the curves gonna be happening here in the bottom part on the one third at the bottom, and the top's gonna be a bit more flat. This one could be, could be a little bit more narrow. And I'm gonna use Machine Tool Symmetry Alt X to symmetrize all of it to the other side. In Blender, this is like you know, 57 million clicks, um, so we don't wanna die of old age here actually we could close this with a face now the face when you do something like this the face is going to be bent you can see that clearly the face is bent uh, because this vert is sticking out so what we need to do here we need to run an edge here to kind of you know ease off this bending but it's not going to be enough it's still bent in here right so we can fix this don't worry about it so we're going to run another edge here like that actually hang on yeah, this would do something like this. And then I'm going to push this one outwards like that. And this one as well. 
different. This could be interesting, right? Oh, that's cool. Looks a bit like a computer case. I like it. This could be narrower here, so a bit narrower. It's gonna be a bit more aggressive. This could be a little bit wider. That's kind of cool. I like that. Now the bottom looks a little bit more heavy. This could go in a little bit here, or maybe even up. And I'll take it to the other side. Peachy. Now I'm gonna use uh, power save to save it. Power save is a free add-on that's going to basically auto save your file every 60 seconds, you know, two minutes, whatever you choose, and prevent um, you from, you know, losing your fucking mind when the blender crashes. And the, um, you know, blender recovery file doesn't work, which happened to me many times, and I'm done with it. So cool. So that's that's cool. Um, I'm thinking that maybe here, not a triangle. But actually, something like this would be better. Let me just dissolve that. This is gonna be bent, but it's okay because I can align these two together using machine tools and then symmetrize to the other side. See how fast this is? This is a very quick workflow. Um, in Vanilla Blender, you would need to you know, uh, zero that on the X axis, just too many clicks. Here, just press four and Alt X. And we can just close this one with F. Now the face here is gonna be bent because these, um, uh, you know, these verts are in different places. But what we can do is, you know, align it with machine tools and you, you know, you're good to go. So there, there you go, that's it. Now here, I think I'm gonna grab this face and I'm gonna Alt R with machine tools, that was X, um, to change it, to change the angle, you know, to uh, kind of sloping down. I think it's a little bit better. That looks pretty cool, I like it. So now we can need some cavity um, to see the edges better. Cavity is fantastic. Uh, it's a brilliant tool. Um, you can enable it uh, through hard up, so in Vanilla Blender. Um, there is a menu, I think, somewhere here for cavity. Where was it? This one. Uh, but, uh, you know, I like to use um, hard ups because it's quicker. Cool, so we got that going. And uh, this is like a basic, very basic shape. So now we're gonna be rounding this up, okay? So um, now let's apply scale um, and then we can start rounding this up. I'm thinking five segments will do here, Alt X, and uh, we could run a bevel here too, like this, and then two bevels here, maybe, maybe three segments and one in here. This could be five again. I'll take so we're done. Then I'm gonna run a, a chamfer here. So control B and gonna split it to a chamfer. And I can also run a bevel here on this side, right? Maybe maybe seven segments would do. And then sharpen this and then weighted normals. And then I'm going to add mark sharp here because I want these edges to become sharp, yeah? Now, yeah, this is actually looking pretty cool. I like that. Cool, all right. So now we can start slicing, yeah? I'm not gonna be building this part here because I can't be bothered. I'm just gonna be focusing on, on a back design. So, you know, I don't wanna repeat what I'm seeing here, but I do like the, uh, the idea of this. Um, in fact, you know what, let's go back out Z here a little bit. I'm gonna make this a little bit uh, thicker. So G, Y, move it here, or in fact, E and extrude it like that. Then Alt, R and create something like this. This is gonna be interesting and I'm going to bevel that with five. Uh, this could be interesting, let me see that. Yeah, that's pretty cool. It's gonna be a little bit bigger, but that's okay. So mark this sharp and we peachy and here we need uh, another bevel, right? seven segments is enough now you're gonna be very careful not to overlap bevels um, but I think we're fine we're gonna recalculate it sharpen peachy okay so I got a basic shape here all right so now we're gonna um, add a cylinder um, fault is fine just gonna make it smaller move it somewhere here and then make it a little bit larger. And apply scale and add some loops. You always want to add some loops when you 
um, you know, bullying uh, surfaces like this together uh, because, you know, it's going to help you mitigate terrible shading. Same here. You want to create, create a lot of smaller geometry, which will help you to um, combine these two shapes together. So I'm going to go with operation uh, modifier and sorry, Boolean union. And uh, I'm going to just, you know, show up in this. And now we're going to be using a tool from Mesh Machine, which is an experimental tool. You have to enable it under preferences called offset cut. You have to enable this under Mesh Machine preferences. So here, let's just uh, think about this factor. I don't want to go too crazy. Maybe that's good. Something like this, I suppose. Let me see that. I don't think going too, you know, too dense is a good idea. This probably should be enough. And then we can click, click, alt, click here and clean this up with Boolean cleanup, just like that. Although I need to, hang on, I need to copy these to the other side. There we go, click, alt, click, and Y and Boolean cleanup. And we're gonna clean this up very nicely like that, okay. So you're gonna clean the shading, same here, click, alt, click. And that's why you want a little bit larger geometry, um, I mean, smaller geometry, because you see, it's cleaning all the bad shading, almost all of it. So here we can just combine this like that, it's gonna be peachy. Copy to the other side, and Bob's uncle, okay? And that looks really nice, right? So now, uh, here, what we could do is, you know, extend it a little bit. I can remove this one and we can just chamfer this and scale it up a little bit and maybe, uh, you know, insert it a little bit like that. So it's a bit more interesting. There we go. Cool. Now here we need some cuts for sure. So we're going to grab an angle. We're going to start slicing. I think that we're going to slice here, uh, but not with a knife. We need to go with a cut. So we could slice here really close to this um, cover. I mean the, the edge. And in fact, let's go maybe like this. You want to start a little bit higher. So outside the shape, if you're going to be adding bevels um, with, you know, end guns uh, through hard ups, because when I bevel this now, uh, the edge is going to get, you know, kind of rounded. And I think this is good, X and slice. Um, let's see how this is gonna look. So let's sharpen this, sharpen this one, and let's add some bevel. Uh, a little bit, and bevel here. Maybe smaller one. That's good. And uh, we have some problems here on this edge. This is caused by bevel actually catching this, so we can go to bevel, and we can actually hold alt and scroll down a bit to change the angle you see at the bottom and everything is peachy right everything is peachy here everything works this is a little bit messed up here but we can fix it later there's probably some geometry problem here so there you go what we can do is simply connect these here connect these here and connect these here Go here and fix this, right? What is this causing this here? Something is causing this problem. Let me see. There we go, this one. So this one could go here, you know, like that. And we could just move it closer here. We don't really need it. it completely disable this. Uh, so dissolve, no, I can't do it like that. Let's go here and just dissolve this entire edge completely unnecessary so there you go still here hang on combine these two combine these two there's still something going on here uh double vert right sharpen and bob jungle then alt x you're done this one you know alt x and you're done and you clean there's some beef going on in the bottom when you have problems like this, you usually have too many edges, so edges are not needed like these, you know, you don't need that junk, so just clean it, 
double verts that's gonna cause a lot of problem shading like this here you see what i mean same here verts are too close so you, you either need you know denser topology or just simply move them together it can cause some minor shading problems but you know who cares it's you're not gonna be able to see that if you if you look in the games you know in the games and you will see so many different issues and problems all kinds of you know shading problems all over the place i always spot them in the best games like you know star citizen doesn't matter what game i even spotted a lot of them in in starfield so it's unavoidable you can clean it with machine tools and uh, this should be clean something in here still double verts i think we're good there we go right pg okay cool so that's done and then what we can do is we can create another cut here in the middle so this one's gonna be a bit more interesting i could cut it like this right and be boom right now occasionally when you um cutting what you can do before you commit you can just find a spot which causes the least amount of damage like here you see so you can save yourself a little bit of work right so let's just sharpen this and let's see what the hell is going on here well obviously you know bananas we don't really technically need this edge we can remove it there's some double edge but ah, here this is an interesting what's happening here is that um the bevel is overshooting with this edge so you can do something like this just slide it and you're good to go so this is a you know one-on-one -on -one shading problem solution uh this one just all tag whoops all tags be careful because it's actually view based so there we go that looks pretty peachy and now here we could have some additional stuff going on yeah this edge here also isn't needed really this one could be just going here on that and then all tags you know what i mean there we go for sure people are gonna be going crazy in regards to topology for this video but uh no one really cares guys okay <laughs> only you uh if you're working on a game asset you know that's a little bit of a different story but we're not we're just working on a concept design so no one gives a flying fuck okay so don't get too excited uh here let's just move it in here and see there we go that looks cleanish to me let's just mirror to the other side peachy that looks really nice they see what i'm doing here a kind of a cluster of details and then cluster of details here and then beautiful empty space i'm uh, kind of uh, creating three different uh, sizes like you know really thin thicker and really thick so i'm already playing with the design here um here we could select both of them and uh, we're not gonna be able to see that to be honest you know i'm not gonna be doing anything in here we could even cut the top here might look interesting so you know grab that and do something like this press b x and slice it and it's gonna go through peachy now let's grab that and let's see what we can do here now what we could do for example we could shift this to a different boolean I don't know how this is gonna work but you know could be interesting um this is interesting too solidif I got solidification yeah this could be interesting too allow that let me see that um uh, this is kind of cool hmm it's gonna be a lot of cleaning though but looks interesting i'm not gonna lie let's make it a little bit less um solidified okay so uh, can i do that hang on a second let's go back there we go one more time solidify no no not this one uh shift uh, shift the bull my bad and then solidify And there we go and there's a lot of disaster here but uh hang on let me just see if we can actually fix this 
just move this cutter a bit no okay fuck it let's fix it so sharpen we can fix it manually so here just combine these two problem solved uh, problem solved this is basically unneeded edge oh we can just go up here it's gonna be easier we can connect these two to ease off you wanna make these um and gone a little bit smaller the shading is going to improve okay that's the trick right because it's not about um type of topology usually it's about the size of topology okay you could have quads in here it will not work uh it would you know also uh, create shading problems because of the size the size is simply too big okay to handle this you know and it's clean here in the back this is basically too close these are typical issues with you know with actually this what you could do is run it like this right if you really wanted to create a better shading right do something like this and then remove this garbage okay if you really wanted to play with it properly right so um this one this is, can go to the edge i don't really care there's a pole in here but it doesn't matter um here too we can move it up or we could move it in here something like that all tags and it's clean okay no one really can see anything this should be cleaned up as well it's overshooting through a bevel so we can do that um, here and then this one could go here and it's clean there you go cool so we got that let's save it and then we can have we can have some more cuts in here so let's uh align to this face Control q oh, it doesn't work i need to set it up so q go to align view that's the one right click and sign shortcut Control q now let's see if it's working perfect it's gonna align you to this face which is what i want then i'm gonna go to shift v and uh, with uh, box cutter and view align in ortho meaning your cut's gonna be aligned to orthographic view and now we can have some fun here right i want to kind of frame this cut with another cut i think it's gonna look pretty cool in fact what we could do is do something like this right and let's just bevel this a little bit okay so x and slice now we're gonna have to move it a little bit further away because it conflicts with the bevel here there we go that's better and this one requires weighted normals so boom right to flex it same with all of them they need all weighted normals to flex the sheeting on uh, these shapes we can mirror this to the other side grab this one and mirror as well there we go and we can actually you know insert it a bit inside and this way so it's kind of sinking in into the design is gonna you know um look better cool here too we could create something really interesting so i i think what i'm gonna do is i'm going to align it to the face like this shift d to taper and shift click to shift to live now we got a mirror going on in here let's mirror this one across there we go it's better um i think that is cool i like what what's what's happening here now we need to move it a little bit higher i think uh, because you know this bevel is gonna cause problems and also we can force topology through a boolean okay so we can do that maybe it's a little bit too dense but you know few of them wouldn't probably hurt it's gonna help with the sheeting here i mean we're gonna have a problem with the bevel uh, but we could you know fix that later although maybe it's gonna be okay maybe we don't need that so let's just uh you know um should we sharpen this you know what we could do we could actually cut the cutter so let's grab this face here and control q there we go and then let's just uh maybe grab two a change of plans let's apply this and then grab a, uh grab a circular cut and cut it in here 
and go in and then go out and then press J and click and let's see what happens. Now this is a little bit too deep, I mean too, too uh, protruding outside, but we can fix it. Now we do need to force some topology here, that's one, and we definitely want to um, move it inside like this, something like that, right? That's better and you know, mirror this to the other side and I think it should be a little bit to the side so it's not so in the middle, maybe even here this would be interesting, right? Yeah, that is really cool, I like that, cool, cool, cool. So now here, are we going to grab this cylinder here, insert, it's still a boolean, right? And just go in and scale it like that, insert it and cut it in, boom, that is sick, I love it, very simple, but powerful technique, and now you see that we get a lot of beef in here, but that's fine, let's just sharpen this, we can we can beat, beat this guys, we can beat this, so GG, move it in here, so never, you know, never panic when your geometry goes wonky, because it's not a big problem, let's go to occlude mode, see what the fuck is going on, I see this is a problem here, Let's combine these two to ease them off and you know Bob Jankle. What we could do is we could run an edge here like this, okay? And this is gonna help with shading. So do that and probably gonna be better. Um, we probably could run a cut in here. There we go, this looks better. You know this bevel is huge, yeah, it could be smaller too, so you know, bevel could be a uh, smaller, uh, it's a little bit big, so we could just, you know, make it a little bit smaller, and it's gonna help too. Uh, wait, 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 I'm connecting the wrong pieces now. Uh, here, do that, and there you go. And, you know, this one could kind of run like this. I'm gonna remove this one, and it's gonna be better. And the rest is peachy, so, you know, all text, and you're done. Yeah cool so there you go and you know you don't really need much more than that could have something in here but honestly do we need it probably not what the hell is going on here click alt click and mark mark yeah this is who we are this is probably bevel catching here hang on let me see that bevel uh let's just work with the angle here there we go boom right so lower the angle everything gonna be fine really simple guys here too we could have some cuts because it's gonna look fun so we could have some cuts here like this uh, preferably going straight like that yeah let me see that let scroll let me just alt r to reset the rotation uh, do something like this and boom yeah, that's a little bit better and move them in move them here and deeper and how we're looking yeah that's peachy there you go yeah that's enough so we got cluster here cluster here beautiful empty space and cluster here and we're done and you know now next thing what you can do is uh we could even do something like this here kind of extract sharpen and then move it to the other side um we could um create some irregular cut here so you know do that slice it and just basically rotate it so um let me just rotate on the individual origins and move the origin to geometry and rotate it like that so it kind of misaligns with everything so it breaks the you know breaks the pattern right and then copy to the other side and boom it looks really cool if you align it with this line it's gonna be boring so we're kind of misaligning it. it looks a bit like a face of a gecko kind of funny and from here it looks like a mech so it's pretty cool design so you see now if you compare these two you can clearly see that we took an inspiration from this jetpack but we kind of you know went with our own theme and ideas right so you you know you can do that you don't have to really follow word by word what you're seeing just that's how you need to think okay if you want to get really good at art and you know creating some cool stuff original stuff this is how it's done okay you look at you know tens of 
hundreds of you know references you find something you really like and like oh shit that's pretty cool let's do it right so now i'm gonna show you how would i texture this really easy i'm gonna show you this through our add-on uh, material works it's a blender bros add-on you can get it on our website it's fantastic it's been uh, created by proxy from um, team c who's a chief coder on uh, for hard ups and box cutter and the mats are created by a professional artist in substance designer so this is a really high quality add-on um, no bullshit so here what we could do is go with plastic i like this um mm, plastic maybe we could go with industrial plastic because that shit is cool yeah this is nice and here we could go with you know metal like the graphite steel could be good or something brighter like half mud steel oh that's juicy uh, let's go with that and same here we can copy this and these elements could actually be in different mud maybe something like midnight steel you know something really dark uh, this could work right so you know really dark elements maybe this is a little bit too dark so hang on i just brighten it up a little bit uh, you can change colors if you want to no problem maybe a little bit darker yeah that's cool i like it awesome so now we can grab a plane here so we get some light reflected back onto it so we can see a little bit better cool awesome so now you know on top of this of course you you, you want some decals so we could go with um, decal machine now we also have a pack of decals and trim sheets i suggest you get it it's fantastic it will save you so much time on texturing and detailing your models is just not even funny so you know uh, consider that it's a great pack so here what we could do is now create really small ones maybe exhaust on this side and i'm going to project it and then we're gonna copy it to the other side it's gonna echo this kind of create like a triangle here that's nice we're going to go with uh some different color for it if i can yeah that will do pg okay that's nice we need some kind of a logo here or here maybe even here let me see let's grab some text uh, maybe hmm maybe couple do let me see that this could be too narrow either at the top or hang on maybe somewhere here this is gonna be too small it's gonna clash with this one i don't actually like that that's a good question where to put this okay we could technically put it maybe here hang on this could work this could work no this is too narrow i think something like this could work maybe oh yeah that's actually pretty cool now let's make it darker so we can make it black hang on just expand this um there we go i think black is gonna be better on this kind of a silverish uh, surface now when you copy decals to the other side with text they're gonna be flipped so you have to go to a mirror and uh flip the mirror on you uh, on you axis now you can do this through decal machine i know but i just like doing it this way so don't chirp me uh, here uh, we're gonna put some maybe some kind of a vent here or something uh, just something here inside that's gonna be looking really cool and project now this will project i want to make it smaller i think hang on let's make it really small like this maybe yeah 
Yeah, that looks really cool. It's gonna bring attention over there a little bit. Copy to the other side. Now this part, you wanna keep it clean. What we want is some kind of you know notches, notches here and there, but you wanna keep it really clean. The name could look really awesome here as well. Maybe even better here at the top, like with a logo here in the middle. This could also work. There are many ways of uh, doing that. Uh, we could just grab these small, you know, like clamps or whatever the hell it is, and just you know drop them here and there. You could rotate them to the angle if you wanted to. Let's just do something like this here, make it smaller. The details, you know, they don't have to be massive, okay? They can be, re they can be really small, right? You don't have to go, you know, crazy big. Um, they can be tiny and they're gonna be visible, especially if you're gonna, you know, use a different color, right? So we're gonna do that and then double click here to select them both and we can make them actually brighter and it's gonna be ah, it's just, it's too bright. Let's make it darker, right? So actually this will do this. I think this is fine. And we need to change the color of the surrounding area. So D shift and we can change it here. Come on, there we go. Boom and one more time. There we go, that's better. See so, you now the trick here is that you see the detail, but it's not really that vulgar. Now here we could have something as well, for sure. Maybe something longer, um, like... Oh, maybe something like this. Um, right, we could, you know, scale it. Um, make it longer you can do whatever you want with decals remember that now we're gonna offset this here like that and the project boom and to the other side and that's an interesting detail especially when you're gonna be when we're going to match it with the environment a little bit better there we go right see that's really filled the gap in here and that's about it. You could add some stickers here in the bottom, like caution, whatever the hell, to bring some attention. Uh, you know, like, uh, I don't know, something like that. These are from my uh, decal park keycan, which is danger. This is something about electricity. What is this? How I cannot read it. It's too bright. Yeah, it's it's uh, too then. Okay, so it's about electricity. So, it, you know, it's, it's fine. This is fine. Some electrical warning. Um, projected here boom right and then we can make it black because i think it's gonna look better we're gonna make it black uh so boom boom and you got like an offset you know detail that's not symmetrical asymmetry is uh, asymmetry is important here in the top you could have something as well you know maybe like a larger element here in the middle so adjust it and just put it in the middle here you can put it you don't have to it's up to you now be careful with using decals in orthographic because they're gonna look weird so don't get surprised don't be shocked when you're gonna see something crazy um, does it fit it's a little bit big though it's like when decals are too big I mean you know it's possible but uh, it's kind of large but you know it's fine it's gonna blend here really well here on the side we could use uh, a trim sheets. I'm going to show you how to use trim sheets. I'm going to run a power save just in case because it's you know it's Tuesday. So here uh, we're going to run the trim almost all the way around, which is fine. We're going to choose something with uh, uh, with a texture. Um, so yeah, this will do. Trim sheets are a beautiful way of uh, detailing. Um, strips of quads very powerful here too we could have something you know on this one i mean some kind of screws buttons whatnot you know just uh maybe small ones or like uh, i mean really small ones for like one two you know three so it's irregular right it's not it's not really symmetrical you want to offset stuff when you design stuff yeah things okay you don't want to keep it you know boring you want to keep it interesting yeah 
uh, match D and shift. If you use D and shift, you can adjust the outer layer of the decal, the landing part, and then the other one. Boom. And that's it's cool. It just, you know, shows there's a detail here. Maybe it's a bit too strong. And now the decal machine doesn't support other mods than BSDF. We're going to be adding um, mod support uh, to our add-on. But, I mean, uh, the decal support to our add-on, but, you know, it's not there yet. So at the moment, you need to be clever with it. So I created a box with a BSDF mod, and I'm going to use that mod to, to match it. There you go. See what I mean? So uh, you can do that. It's barely visible, but it's there, which is cool. And, you know, that's about it. We could have some kind of notches here and there. So we could go to another decal pack and grab something that's going to be cool. Like what? Hmm. A legendary decal. So-called legendary decal. We could align it here with this edge and maybe maybe one more here and then project it and we're going to have to match it make it darker right boom yeah this is nice so it kind of like wraps everything together you don't want to slap details everywhere, okay? Don't make this stupid mistake that you're going to put details everywhere. It's just not going to work, guys, all right? You got to be very careful how you place the details, right? You know, it's not Disney, okay? So stop making people dizzy with your designs. Right here. I want to put something on top over there. I know what I'm going to put there. Um, this could work. I'm going to make it smaller, right, and I'm going to create two of them here, one, project, whoa, something happened, there we go, and to the other side, boom, and then we're going to match the outside a little bit better boom there you go and that looks really fantastic right you see we created something really cool very quickly and look how different it is from you know from this this pack you can clearly see that we follow the design kind of a language and you know basic idea but you know it's still very very different right here you know we could have some tiny vents whatnot um i mean here in the middle um, something really, really tiny, like that. Let me just control Q that. Where is it? Let me just align to this face here manually. So, select the face, control Q. Ah, I know what the problem is. The plane is in that way. Just hide the plane. There we go. Um, and now we can align ourselves properly here. Let's align this more or less in the middle and project and we can move it to the other side there and you gotta get these tiny elements over there you know something in there uh, poking through right we could also run a, some trim sheet here just for fun you know so um let me see Wait, this is mirrored, right? I have to go here. There we go. And this will do. Yeah, this will do. And we could have some exhaust here too, like, um, you know, hang on, I have an idea. One of these. Um, here, I think. Yeah, this one. So scale it down, rotate it, right? And you know, put it in here and project it, and then match it a little bit better. Boom, right? And you got some element there, but it's not really poking, it's not really you know, vulgar. And there you go, we could have some kind of a light, maybe asymmetrically placed as well. 
uh, maybe somewhere here in the bottom kind of like a, you know kind of like a indicator very very small one right um, here you go project done okay you don't want to go too crazy this is actually too big uh, you don't want to go too crazy with lights especially when they're really strong because they're gonna be very strong pullers okay you see what I mean you can really f see it from a very very far uh, lights are very strong pullers here yeah? you could actually add something to the top as well just to uh, mitigate that so uh, what we could do is grab one of these and uh, you know add a light here in the top as well asymmetrically also and you know so it's gonna offset it and bring you back just a little bit too big um, make it smaller and maybe put it in here or something there you go right alt h shift 2 and uh, there we go and all you need to do now is render this so that's really easily done all right guys well i think that's it for this video i uh, hope you enjoyed it like i said if you want to learn hard surface modeling uh, grab our free course jumpstart hard service in blender it's free and it's brilliant it's gonna teach you everything you need to know to get started with blender all right Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.